and the yoke of the cross, so that you might drive from us the power of the enemy. Grant us your servants to attain the grace of the resurrection through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever.
and say to him, The teacher says, My time is at hand. I will meet the Passover at your house with my disciples. And the disciples did as Jesus had directed them, and they prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he sat at the table with the twelve disciples, and as they were eating, he said, Truly I say to you, one of you will betray me. And they were very sorrowful, and began to say to him one after another, Is it I, Lord? He answered, He who has dipped his hand in the dish with me will betray me. The Son of Man goes as it is written of him, but woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would have been better for that man if he had not been born. Judas, who betrayed him, said, Is it I, Master? He said to him, You have said so. The Gospel of the Lord Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, in our life, most hurtful and painful moments are those when our beloved ones, our loved ones, our brothers and sisters betray us. Why is so? Because we trust them, because we believe in them. In the Gospel, the disciple who was chosen by Jesus himself he is getting ready to betray Jesus. He is getting ready to sell his own master. The savior of the whole world is sold for silver. He is betrayed for money. God, who sent his only son free, is bargaining for 30 pieces of silver. What a tragedy. Why did Judas do so? Because Judas loved himself very much. He thought of himself. He was selfish. He was greedy for money. He was greedy for wealth. His selfishness led him to destroy himself. His selfishness led him to a wrong path. Bishop Fulton J. Shin beautifully says about selfishness. Selfishness is the love of the wrong self. The self that is indifferent to the feeling and the interest and the safety of others. All selfishness is necessarily unhappiness. The self is too small a prison in which to relax. Near the church in Warwickshire, England, is a stone on which these words are written. Here lies a miser who lived for himself and cared for nothing but gathering wealth. Now where he is or how he fares, nobody knows and nobody cares. Yes. Caring only for self is very much like a servant devouring his own thing. Let's remember, the more generous we are to others and to God, the more merciful will be our judgment and our last day. Jesus was the best teacher. Jesus was the best master in the world. Yet, he could not convert Judas. Just because Judas was not willing to change his life. Judas was not willing to change his heart. So, it does not matter how powerful is the preaching. It does not matter how long is the preaching. It matters how I am ready to change my own life. How am I ready to change my own heart? We are in the Holy Week. This is the time to be with our family and to reflect on the life of Christ. May the passion, crucifixion, death and resurrection of Christ, which is the crux of Christian life, help us to strengthen our faith in Christ and become generous like Jesus, become loving, Become caring and merciful to everyone. Amen.
become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for the good and for the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings made here and raised to the ground that is celebrating your Son's passion and mystery. We may experience the grace of His effects through Christ our Lord. The mystery of your faith.
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Peter Paul our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in their mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit the day for his eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And the Savior's come up and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in the heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in the heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. So we present the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace, I give you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and Ever, the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace.
the Son of Man did not come to be served but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Let us pray. And thou also, Almighty God, with the firm conviction that through your Son's death and time, to which the revered mysteries bear witness, we may be assured of perpetual life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. 